Hey, hey y'all, we're live. Hey y'all. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Oh, I have my coat like half on, half off. I don't really know what's going on. I have a napkin. I don't know what's going on. We were part of have a napkin and I have my hanky. So I don't, I don't know. We went out for a little walk because we had to get out of the house because we were going crazy. Um, but we were both very, very tired. So we thought that we would do hot cocoa and s'mores with y'all. So he's going to start the, uh, the s'more making process. That is Mr. Mr. Chuck forward. That is, um, he's going to be starting the s'more process. And once we get a couple people in our house, we'll call it, come over, come over to our house. Um, once y'all come in our house, we will, uh, kind of fill you in on what we're doing and how we're doing this some more. Um, please don't be upset that I'm wearing two primary colors. Oh yeah. So my husband's wearing two primary colors, you know, but it is what it is. We will probably not be on this live, uh, too long or too late. We are. Tired. It is unfortunately only 8:41 p.m., um, which means that um, if it was a day that I'm working, yeah, I've only been at work for almost two hours. Um, so luckily, I'm off tonight because I am very, very tired. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna hang out. Maybe I'll share this out a place or two. We'll see. I don't know. But he is making hot cocoa. I would plan to hopefully come on. Yes, and our goal is to uh, uh, do a live, schedule a live um, tomorrow and sort of fill you guys in on stuff and yada, yada, yada. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, we'll schedule a live probably tomorrow, maybe, maybe around eight or so. We'll do a live. Um, that's probably really hot, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. But, hun, tell everyone the one thing you have to have. You've got to have Ready Whip. You must have a Ready Whip. Ready Whip! Are you ready? Whip! Perfect. Do a dollop a daisy. For everyone do to a see dollop. at home. Do a dollop a daisy. Ooh. Do a dollop. Do a dollop a daisy. Uh, daisy. Mm. S'mores. I figure s'mores and hot cocoa would be a very nice, um, you know, little treat. Especially on a nice cold day. Yes, we went out for a little walk around our development. Throws our booties off. Throws our booties off. Um, yes, we wear booties. Yes. Just kidding, we're talking about our butts. Mm. Yeah. I'm messing with you. Um, <coughs> just sharing this out a couple, couple places. Uh, we're really trying to uh, grow our YouTube community. Especially after the TikTok I saw today. <laughs> what was the TikTok? The guy. Oh, oh yeah, oh, the guy yeah. that had like. 2.5 million subscribers. So, yeah. So that's just crazy. Um,
Let's see. I think I can share this out. One more. One more area. Um. But yeah. So we're 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 doing s'mores. Um. Why do they look square? They look like little things. So, what is going on? Why are they square, y'all? Why are they square? You want to go to bed? I can just put a little pillow here. What is going on? They're not square. Your friend is really tired. No, they're square. These are definitely square. This is square, and this is. We gotta put them in a minute. Well, okay. Hey, Carla. Carla's watching. Hi, Carla. Yeah, they're very dense. Which is very, um, just very weird. And I'm not actually sure how many marshmallows I'm going to be able to eat. Um, so I might want to eat this one sparingly. I'm going to bring this over here so we have it. But we're making we're making s'mores in the house. Um, not really sure how this is going to go, but we're going to try it. Yeah. You're going to want to spin that too, Chuck. I know. You may have to hold it. Oh, she says, hey, Chuck. Hello. Um, but yeah, so we went out for a walk. Well, we got up. Well, hmm, he got up at like 3 o'clock. I got up at 5.30. Um, then we went out for a walk around like, what, 7 or so? Yeah, roughly. I think this will definitely work because they're definitely looking like they're melting. Yeah, good, good. Um, so we went out for a walk. Just get out of the house. Um, it is currently 8.48 p.m. Um, this 12-hour shift stuff is really, like, taking its toll. I'm probably going to chuck, 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 easy, easy, because I'm good with, like, probably one. We'll so, see. yeah. Can't eat it? Okay, but... Oh, I ate it. Oh, it won't get wasted. So, hey, everyone. Hey, you guys might realize... Uh, There's an ear. I, I've changed a little bit. I, uh... I've become a cat. Y'all see Harriet? That's Harriet. You, you can see... No, no, that's me. You can see that I'm turning into a cat because I, I still haven't grown my tail yet. Mm. Yeah, it's Harriet. Harriet, so 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 y'all can meet Harriet. Harriet is a manx. Harriet does not have a tail. Harriet is a little love. She sleeps Usually, um, so I have my head on the pillow, clearly, not now, but, you know, I sleep with my head on a pillow. And then above our bed, like behind us, is windows. So in between my head and the window, there's another pillow. So you know who sleeps on that pillow. Harriet. Right, Harriet? I know. But Harriet is a manx. Harriet does not have a tail. Harriet is only here because we went... Oh, Jesus. That one is really messy, so I gave you some cookies to kind of, I guess, clean it up with. Great. Um, but yeah, so we went to a um, a Super Bowl party, and the place that we went, they had a little black kitten, and I was like, "Oh my god, I don't have a little black kitten." And you're probably wondering why this is a Harriet story. Well. We came home, and I told Chuck, "I'm like, I want a black kitten. I don't have a black kitten. We had black couches, I think, at the time." I'm like, kind of weird that I've never had a black kitten, so I want a black kitten. So we went on the uh, Humane Society website to see if there any black kittens. 
So Chuck showed me like three or four pictures of black kittens and then showed me a picture of this orange cat that had no tail. And when he showed me the, the cat that had no tail, I'm like, but that cat isn't black. I don't want that cat because it's not black. And he's like, but she has no tail. That was it. She so, so we went and we got her and we fell in love with her and she really had no tail. You can't see it. Well, I mean, <laughs> ah, no, but the, the laptop is up too high. And Marty can't see it either. Yeah, Marty can't see it either. Um, but yeah, so she is our Manx. Uh, she has no tail. We call her a koala. We call her a polar bear. She has a polar bear butt. So she's PBB. Um, but she is one of our six cats. So Now, the s'mores that we made, I mean, there's really not much like recipe or instructions to them. So I guess we can just say it. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm sure some of you that have Facebook saw that you take these, um, the fudge stripe cookies. Oh, Harriet, Carla's so, so happy to have met you. Yeah, she doesn't really care. Harriet! You see, like, the corner of her head. Um, that is amazing. So Chasing America has joined us. I guess what Chasing America just said. What's that? Billboard in the house. Ah, yes. That's our, awesome. our billboard friends, you're in the house. Um, where was I going? I forget where I was going. Oh, my God. Harriet. Oh, yeah. So, Harriet and... Oh, oh. The um, the things that we're making. So, you take the fudge shred cookies and you take a marshmallow and you... You make a s'more. Um... So since it's colder than um, crap outside, probably not as cold as where it is for you, Carla, but um, it's cold and we don't have the time or energy to do the whole fire pit thing right now. So we took skewers and we put a pot of water on the stove, like a little pot of water, and then we just put the marshmallows on the skewers and put them over the top of the pot and what, it maybe took, what, 30 seconds to melt? Yep. So, we were going to um, just hold the little marshmallows up to the flame of our gas stove. I didn't really see anything bad with that, but Chuck was like, ah, I don't know. So, Well, no, I, I didn't know if it was... Because you know how propane has that smell? It's not propane, Chuck. It's natural gas. Oh, that, that's true. I didn't think that. Yeah. <clears throat> So, Carl, I got through, like, a lot of your videos last night. Oh, you know what I could have done? Please, Cha, please be very careful. Close that. Oh, God. Watch out, Harriet. Watch how, out. How about you put that on the... You want to put well, that how on about... Let me... Uh, I don't trust that. It's, you're you're on my witness. I don't trust that hot chocolate that close to that laptop. Um, very good, very good. Make sure I hit that like button. But anyway, so, Carla, we were at your page yesterday. Your, your house. Channel, your house. Yeah, we were at your house eating cookies. You know, that's what we're eating now. But, so some of your intros were, like, really loud. And then the, the, the voice was very, very low. So I would turn it up to hear some of it. And then the next video would play. And the intro would, like, blow me out of my chair. <laughs> I mean, not really. But it's kind of funny. Um, so is your birthday the 24th or the 25th? I don't want to put you out there like that, but I know what month it is, but is it the 24th or 25th? This is very good, but very messy. messy. Cause I saw you had two videos and it was like your birthday and stuff, but there was a video on the 24th and the 25th. So I'm like, wait, this is good though. I'm still eating the first one. I know. I'm telling you, though, it's good. Mm. Mm. Once more. I want to go to bed. Me too. Like, I'm really, really tired. Y'all don't understand. Tired. It's so, yeah. rough, the, the 12 hours. 
12, yeah, 12 hours is, I was told, I had to turn up the volume on the intro and on the actual video. My 10 year old niece is the one who said your intro is loud. Ah, that's awesome. That was 24th. Very cool. My girlfriend's birthday was the 25th. That's why I'm like, oh, that's really cool if you and him had the same birthday. Are you going to push me over or no? I can. I didn't know if you wanted to. Yeah. Push! Okay. <clears throat> hmm. So how's everyone doing? Tired. Yeah. I don't look. I don't even work the twelve hours. I just stay up with her, and I'm I'm beat. I just don't know, if, like long term. No, We've no. only been doing this for a month. I don't know how much more I got in me. Really don't. You okay? Mm-hmm. What? Mm. Mm. Long so I can make tomatoes. Ah, tomato Ooh. soup and grilled cheese. That's good. We were actually thinking about doing uh, grilled cheese with ham. Uh-oh. Mm. <clears throat> Just had to stretch there. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so they're pretty messy. So don't use the um, the big square. Well, I think that would have happened either way. But yes, it the ham and cheese, something about it. I don't know. I really enjoyed. I never yeah. used to, but comes out good. Mm. And uh, when we do end up making our grilled cheese, we have pepper jack cheese we can try on there, too. That might be tasty. Mm. Maybe not. I don't know. You used on the ham and cheese and it was nasty. It wasn't nasty. I just couldn't taste the pepper jack, so there was no point uh -huh. in wasting pepper jack if I wasn't getting the taste. Mm. Okay, so when it breaks... You're trying to pick it up, and part of it sticks to the plate. It just really turns so it's it like into we're, a goo. It's like we're eating a scooter pie. Sort of. Yeah. Oh, my God. Pepper Jack? Macaroni and cheese. Now, I'm not talking about that 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 um, that um jalapeno and Cheeto crap. Uh-uh. Not that. Don't, mm -mm, don't do that. Although somebody did tell me that the uh, jalapeno one... Was good, but they said the jalapeno Cheetos, not the jalapeno mac and cheese Cheeto thing. But yeah, not that mac and cheese. But if you make actual real mac and cheese, use pepper jack. Oh my god. Like it gives it like that perfect kick. It's like eating a tostito that has the jalapenos in it. And don't mind my teeth, by the way. I'm sorry. Um, it like gives it like that little bit of kick. Oh my god, delicious. But yeah, we got through most of your back. videos last night with the except. Well, so we did the first, uh, I'll say first half, we'll say. What was it like um, three or four days ago? And then we got through the, probably most of the second half with the exception of all the lives. But the weird part is some of the lives were playing through and then I'm like, oh crap, this one's six hours. Oh no. So I'll probably say we have <laughs> 10 videos left. Except for lives. I'm not doing... I'll, I'll do up to a two-hour live, but anything past that, I'm like, yeah, uh-uh, uh-uh. That is good, but like we said, very messy. Mm. I think the last video that I saw last night, well, this morning, actually, was how you did, was it, I think, a 1,000 subscribers in 15 days? That's some dedication, but that also... That's awesome. I know you were saying that you did... Um, like you would go live for like twelve hours a day. Why aren't That's we crazy. Doing that? Live twelve hours a day? Maybe when we decorate for Christmas. I think we'd be uh what's the word? Uh entertaining enough. Oh, I think so too. <clears throat> yeah, just wait until we go 
live and maybe we can give them a sneak peek of the elf on a shelf picture. Mm -hmm. So I started this elf on a shelf challenge like three years ago. And now every December 1st, I start it up again. The We have 13 elves, I think. And I make them do something crazy every single day. And I put it on Facebook with the hashtag elf on a shelf challenge and a new year. Mm -hmm. I drug her into it a couple times. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's fun. And then last year, uh, a friend of ours actually sent us two elves mm -hmm. with our names on them. So now we're elves too. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Shelly. But uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, the, we, we had... Get the dog involved. <clears throat> we started it with uh, one elf that she had from years ago. Wait, so... What, what's the name of it, though, honey? Constipated elf. Because the old ones had their arms wrapped around the legs like this when you got them. And they had so their the legs knees, are like up knees, like this. Their yeah. knees are to their chest. So they look constipated. So every, every year that my mom would put them out while me and my sister were growing up, like she put them on like the shelves like, above the couch and stuff like that. And they were constipated. So we just called them the constipated elves. So then when I moved out <coughs> and we got a house of our own, I told my mom, I'm like, yeah, can I have the constipated elves? So I now have them. So now... I started with the constipated elf, just throwing it here, throwing it there. And then she found a three pack somewhere that are actually uh, ornaments for a tree. I don't care. They joined the family. And then she got me one for Christmas one year. And then someone else got me one or two. And then her mom found another one or two, I think. And it's just slowly grown from there. We have a life size Slimer figure. Uh, he was an honorary elf one year. I had an elf hat for him. He was in all the pictures. Even when we went out of town. Oh, yeah. They FaceTime me. They other. FaceTime each other. Yeah. I set it all up in advance so that they FaceTime each other for the picture for the next day. It's oh, fun. I can't. You don't want s'more? No, I don't want s'more. Can you do the cookies? Not right now. I mean, you can save them if you want for right now, but... Well, here, I'll put it off to the side for right well, now. Well, you don't eat the s'more. I'm definitely not eating the s'more. I'll tell you that. Well... The s'more is not happening. The cookie might happen. Do you want your napkin? Yes. Oh, so, we're going to, um... We have a lot more videos that we want to post. Oh, yes. Clearly, we want to... Okay, I don't think this napkin is going to cut this. <laughs> this is going to need, like, some Lysol wipe or something. Well, I can get you a wipe of some sort. Oh, uh, is anybody out there looking for wipes? Like Lysol wipes, Clorox wipes, knockoff brand wipes? Holler, just let me know. Um, but anyway, so we have like a couple videos that we want to post. We just got to get the ambition together to do them. Uh, we do have more reviews of products to put out there. Mm -hmm. um, we're, ooh, I'm not going to say it because I might do an unboxing. Um, we're getting a delivery on Monday. Fortunately, I work Monday. Um, but maybe I'll do like an unboxing video before I go to work. Um, I mean, that kind of helps. So the marshmallow really wasn't that hard to get off. Um, but we want to do a product review of the Bites toothpaste. Um... Let's see, we have the bite toothpaste. What else do I have? The bite toothpaste. What do I have? You have the bites. You have Mr. and Mrs. T. Oh, yeah. Wet one, okay? Yeah. And your hands are going to smell like pineapple. That's okay. Um, Speaking of pineapple, I have a pen. I have an apple. Ooh, apple pen. That would be a pineapple pen. I have a pen. I have a pineapple. Ooh, pineapple pen. Mm, I might have to post Pineapple it. pen. Apple pen. Ooh, pen pineapple, apple pen. 
Uh, we used to love that video. Sorry. Yeah, I'll have to post it in the bio or the description box. Um, if any of you do not get that reference, that was a that was a throwback to about five years ago, you know, before COVID. Um, was it really five years ago? Oh, wow. my God, probably. Ew. Oh. Like, ew. <coughs> what? I guess these have, like, lotion or something on them. I mean, they make your hands... Something, feel, yeah. Make your hands feel uh, soft. Welcome back, Billboard. Welcome back. Um, so, yeah. So, we have a couple of videos we want to do. The Bites. Um, we we have, have a product that we refer to as Mr. and Mrs. T, which we won't tell you what that is. Uh, have you ever heard... <laughs> Wait, hold on. I read that first part one way, and then I read the water and peanuts or pineapple and watermelon. I have not heard of the WAP challenge. Uh, however, I know what the WAP... Okay, so here. So there's look. the WAP challenge on TikTok. Yeah, and which water is and peanuts the song, or WAP. pineapple and watermelon. Anything. What is the WAP challenges? That sounds kind of cool. But yeah, so I I am, well, we both do TikTok. And, and I'm like, okay, it's a WAP, it's a WAP. All right, whatever, <clears throat> okay, it's a WAP, right? So then I go to work and they were singing it, whatever. And I'm like, all right, well, what's WAP? Like, so I come home and I ask A-L-E-X-A -E to sing WAP. First, she tried to play Aerosmith Walk This Way, which I don't understand that. Then she played it and she was just like singing it, like, and my hair got curly. I mean, I've heard that word before and those words and that language, but I'm like, oh my God, right? So that was just crazy. So then, like, you know, as the days go on, like you're singing the song, it's like, all right, cool, blah, 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 blah. Oh, very cool. I will check it out. Um, so I'm like, all right, we know, whatever. And then it's like macaroni in a pot. And of course, you know, I go to work and I get educated at work and it's like, you know, then they told me why it's macaroni in a pot. And, and what was the other macaroni in a pot? That's a bop. That's a bop. Grab a bucket, bucket and a mop. A bucket and a mop. A bop. A buck. A bucket. Look, you're the one that says a mop it and a buck. I know. So yeah. So definitely got some education. <clears throat> hey, Pete. Hello. She said wine and Pringles. Huh. Wine and Pringles. That's an interesting combo. Oh yeah, actually. we want to do a wine video. We want to do like a wine down Wednesday. Like, yeah. Um, we have a wine that we like, yeah. which is awesome. That doesn't happen for us too often. Um, and it, it pairs really well with cheese. Yes. Not so much chocolate or, uh, uh, what was the other one? Grapes. Yeah. Yeah. That was a little rough. All right. I'm going to take that. Sure. Um, but yeah, so we have a couple product reviews we want to do. Um, I guess some of you might be familiar that we did an unboxing <clears throat> of our, actually our last unboxing video. Um, we showed you that we had the like bartender towels. And we had the um, um, hankies, hankies, as we call them. Handkerchiefs. Um, and then at the end, we revealed that we had an unboxing, and we opened it, and it was, uh, well, it was supposed to be Shelly the Sea Turtle, and we opened the package, and it was Steven Seagull. Um, but, Not a uh, fan of the name, but hey. <laughs> but we got a really cool email from the company after I, I wrote them and was like, uh, yeah, so what do you want us to do? Because... We totally needed Shelly the Sea Turtle, and we got Steven Seagull. Um, so they wrote an email, which I will talk about when we get Shelly. It, it was a really cute email. It was really, really cute. It was probably the best email that I got, like, ever. Um, so it was really cool. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to do but, another unboxing. But I'm, I'm not a things. fan of the name because I've actually met Steven Seagull and not not a fan anymore. I know, but it's it's Steven. Seagal. I know, but it's Steven Seagal. Oh, oh, they could have oh. went with Sam Seagal, like Sammy the the casino game Seagal Sam. Mm -hmm. But that might have been a copyright issue. You so can... they went with an actor's name. Okay, but no, the the I know, names I know. So... But I yeah, I I met him, and I wasn't a fan when I met is he, him. Is he? I know, huh? And uh, so I'm not replacing his laptop again. Well, we didn't replace it because of me. Yeah, well, I beat your butt. But uh, I broke the last one. <laughs> I threw a phone at it. You're lucky you didn't break the phone. Yeah. Oh, I've been pissed. But I met him, and I wasn't impressed at all when I met him. He was very rude, very nasty, very mean. 
Um, Captain Lou Albano was at this thing, which <clears throat> anyone that knows Captain Lou, he was a wrestler in the 80s. He did a lot of like rock and roll um, wrestling stuff with Cindy Lauper. So she, he was in a lot of her music videos. Really awesome guy. He played live action Mario on the Mario cartoon, which I love. Mm. Um, but, you know, he, he was towards the end of his life. He was very sick uh, and he couldn't really walk all that well. And he walked all the way from where he was sitting to where Steven Seagal was sitting. And Steven Seagal just treated him horrible. And I was ah. like, how do you do that? And thing is, you know, Captain Lou was like, hey, you, you, I, I'm the guy who helped you out in the beginning. Like, really? And he's like, so you want a cookie? Oh, that sounds familiar. So, yeah, I, I was I was not thrilled when I met him. So Carl wants to know, did I really, did I break it? Yeah, I, I definitely broke it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on, I have the picture. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see. Uh... You don't realize how many videos you take. Um, oh, yeah, you, you really. That... When, you, when you're looking for a certain picture or video and you're like, it wasn't this far, but oh, yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> Then you're like scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I was like, oh, that was like last week. Okay. Yeah, very stinky attitude. He was, I don't know. I was expecting better. I met a lot of celebrities. He is by far the worst one I've ever met. Um, another one that was up there <clears throat> going wrestling again, uh, Raven. I met him once. And when I met him, I was like, hey, Raven, blah, 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 blah. I watched... Uh, WCW Nitro all the time because of you and he just looked at me and was like and just turned and walked away didn't say anything to me I was I was like no I I'm no longer a fan of yours the worst person you, I ever met was uh, Avril Lavigne yeah she was a bitch all right here thing is shows to the the thing is you get to where you are focus because of your fans so when you're yeah when you're mean to your fans, yeah, you don't have fans anymore. Yeah, um, gotta focus. On I know it's hard to see though. I'm trying to no, like go further. It's gotta fo no, go in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, go in, go down. So that is what the uh, the laptop looked like after the phone hit it. Yeah, I really, I really killed it. But I was trying to get my um, info videos and all. Like pictures. yeah, like my pictures and my videos off my phone, and, and like, then we were trying to you know, used to start to up just, YouTube. Yeah, you used to just be able to. Uh, oh yeah, well I was mad that I did it actually. Um, <clears throat> like normally you you plug in your phone and you plug it into your laptop and you can just open up your phone on your laptop and just like literally take <coughs> folders and stuff off and put them on your laptop. Cool. The, the new computers, for whatever reason, once you make a a click even if it's by accident they don't let you change that because my computer that i had i tried setting it up once so i could get pictures off of there and then i hit the wrong thing and i can't get pictures off my phone yeah so i don't, don't know. get it so yeah i spent probably uh in total probably about 15 hours trying to figure it out and yeah it didn't work so um I threw my phone at it and um yeah so then we had to go to bj's the next day and i did the mad dash we knew what laptop we wanted to buy, saw it on the internet, blah, 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 blah. Went in, grabbed it, checked out, ran out. Yep. You know, um, but yeah, so that's. And this laptop works great. Yeah. I'm so tired. I know. Uh, maybe 12 hours. Does anybody work 12 hours overnight? After this, we're probably really getting ready for bed. Because I really need um, tips on how to survive 12 hours overnight. I've been close to throwing my phone due to, oh yeah, well, uh, don't throw it <coughs> at anything that'll break, like a laptop yeah. or a TV, because um, guess what? It will happen. Um, and then you'll cry because you're mad that you actually did it. Um, so yeah, don't uh, do not do it. Um, that's why God made beds and couches. If you want to get mad, take your phone and chuck it at the bed or the couch. Um, I say that because I used to throw my old phone at him all the time. I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Well, lie. see, that's the it. problem when you I have it. when you have a good case. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it breaking. Yeah, you throw it at the husband. Yeah, well, we have so we have Mophie cases, which we love. Well, okay, so we loved. I loved. Yeah, so mine no longer charges. Yeah, but um, 
every time I get a phone, I try to change. <laughs> chuck it, to... chuck it at Chuck. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we have Chuck steak and yeah. Um. Can't. Oh, speaking of, I gotta take the uh, the beef out for tomorrow. Oh yes. Ah, 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 there ah, may or may not be a cooking with Chuck episode coming. Yes. Yes. Um. So yeah. So every time I get a phone, well, at least when I get a phone, I try and get a different color. So, like, when iPhone used to only be white and black, you know, I get a white one one year, and then three years later I get a black one, and you know, I just flip flop. Then they came out with gold, and I love gold. Why do you love gold? Because of Butch Walker. And then I saw they had red this time, so I'm like, all right, I'll get red. Cool. Normally, I try and get my Mophie case to match my phone just because, like, you know, whatever. But I didn't. I said we had brown beef. Yeah. I lied, apparently. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh. That's fine. Find the ground beef that we just um, So the Mophie cases, um, this is, like, my third iPhone. I've had a... Yeah, I've had a five. Actually, no, I've had a four, a five, a seven, and now this is the XR. So the Mophie cases are actually normally you can get a hundred percent of extra battery in your case. Now, it's not that much thicker. Um, the last one was um, for my iPhone seven. It was thicker than this. However. When me and Chuck both got iPhone XRs recently, I'll say like the last six months or so, we wanted to get another Mophie case for each of us because we liked Mophie because it was an extra 100% of battery life. So we got them for our XRs. And we noticed that it would only give us like 40% of battery life. Like our battery would go down to like, you know, 10, 20%. We put on our backup battery, and it would get us, like, 50 or 60%. And we're like, what the hell? So we emailed the company, and we're like, yeah, like, we paid $99 for these cases, like, we have in the past, which is fine, because you get 100% battery out of them. Um, but we're only getting, like, 40% backup. Oh, yeah, well, you know, to make the case slender than they were, in the, more slender in the, than they were in the past, you know, we had to make it so that you couldn't have as much extended battery life. But that needs to be advertised. Then why is your shit still $99? Like, we've, this is our third round of Mophie cases. And Chuck even had them for his Samsung. He had, what, a 5? Uh, I had a... A 5, a 7, and a 9? I think I might have had a 5, a 6, and a 7. Or no, I, def no, I definitely had the 9. Yeah. So, so yeah, I had 5, 7, and 9. Yeah, so they make Mophie cases for the Android also. So, like, we've had, and I'm not going to lie, these cases don't last forever. Like, I mean, the XR battery is really good. Um, and since we really don't go out now anyway, but you don't need to, uh, like, charge it all the time. Oh, yeah. That's Jewel. Hey, Jewel. And um, I don't know if you can see it. I actually have a chip on the bottom of my case over here. What'd you throw it at? I didn't throw it at anything. Mm, but Lies. What did I throw it at? I don't know. I didn't throw it at anything, but no. I mean, you can't even really tell if you look. Yeah, I mean, that's It's just it's a just tiny rare. little piece. Yeah. But... but they're not made to what they were. So, honestly, <coughs> if you have an older phone, which is more likely you would need an extended battery life when you're out and about, I recommend the Mophie. But if you have a newer phone, don't do a Mophie. Okay. Overall, we like it. You know, we have dropped our phones. I used it to protects it very well. It protects it really well. We have the Zag glass screen protector, which I love. Those so they are amazing. Those and are cool. They are actually um, help me out here. Uh, warranty warranted for life. Yeah, you just register them, and if something happens to it, yeah, call the company. They send another one out. Yeah. So I actually put mine on backwards. Oh, up, no! He put it on upside down. Okay, upside down. And uh, I contacted the company, and they're like, no problem. Happens all the time. And they sent me out a brand new one. Yeah, but you know what really sucks? When he went to go take off the glass screen protector because he had it on the upside, da upside down, normally when you take off the protector, it cracks. Don't you know he took it off? His shit didn't crack. I'm like, you really could have just taken it off and just put it upside right, but he had they, mail they don't, back to whatever. The problem is they don't hold Stick quite right. as yeah, well. I know, I know. But, um, but the one I have on me now actually does have a... Uh, a crack on it. Right. Uh, but I'm not changing it out I yet because it's it's 
it, you can't feel it. It's not bothering me. Yeah, I have little um, scratches from going in my yeah dooney. But so I mean, we have another one if we need to replace it. But right yeah. now, I mean, they're working fine for us. Yeah, so, so that's our. But I that's mean, our electronic. It, it uh, protects the uh, the phone screen itself. So yeah, and you can get them on uh, Amazon. So I think I paid mm -hmm. like I don't know fifteen dollars for two. So. And then I got such a good deal. I actually brought one into one of my coworkers. I looked at his phone one day, and his phone like, uh, like it got run over by a car. And I'm like, uh, you want to take care of that? He's like, oh, hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> like I'll bring in. I have an extra one. It's fine. Um, so I brought one in, and it looks like a brand new phone. Once I took off that piece of ran over crap off his off his thing, um, you know. So it was pretty cool. But yeah, I actually used to work for Radio Shack. Uh, Way back when. You were one of the good boys at Radio Shack. That oiled your grandmother's keys, apparently. Yeah, so my, my grandma had a flip phone. And, you know, it was very hard to get her into the the world of cell phone usage. So, um, so she had a flip phone, whatever. And she had it for probably four, five, six years. And her keys would stick. So, like, if you tried to dial a number, it would be like, Five 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 four, you know, whatever. Which isn't a big deal because a lot of the numbers that she used were in her phone book, so not a big deal. But if she needs to call nine one one or something, I don't see that working out very well. So I'm like, Grandma, I'm like, we'll get you a new phone. No, no, no. I'll just take my phone to the good boys at Radio Shack, and they're gonna oil up my keys for me. That's not really a thing we could do. You don't oil up. Keys on a cell phone. But before I end up forgetting, so I did work at Radio Shack uh, for quite a few years, and I sold cell phones and uh, accessories to go with them. The Zag was the one thing I always recommended because uh, I've seen them just a thousand times protect the phone. Yeah. And like I said, they warranty it for life, so what do you really have to lose? Yeah. So, Zag, we are fans of Zag. Um. Yeah, that's our electronic stuff. So, um, so we see there's five people hanging out with us, but there's three likes. So you you wanna you wanna take care of that and make it match five for five, maybe five for five. Yeah, five for five. We don't have anything to offer. Let's say we have no bardy, bard, bartering uh, tools today. Although I I just want to point out, I don't understand how we went from her chugging a drink. If she got five likes, and it took 20 minutes probably to get those five likes, to me, eating a whole bunch of nasty jelly beans if we got five likes, yeah. and we were at 10 in like two seconds. Let me tell you, that bean boozle challenge, that was, that was nasty. That was nasty. That is something <clears throat> you do to somebody that you don't like. That Let me tell nasty. you. So that whole entire fun. night, the entire night, I could not get the vomit taste out of my mouth from those damn yeah. jelly beans. Yeah. It was disgusting. Yeah. I mean, I would definitely try them. Like, it's entertaining. It's something to do, you know. Um, but that really, honestly, is something you do to somebody you don't like. Because there's not... That was not... Yeah. It... I mean, it was fun. It was like, no. It was probably almost as bad as, you know, how people do the challenges... Where they cover like three glasses with a with a cardboard box, and there's just the straw sticking out, and you have somebody come up and just like, like it was like a party of ten people, and they just do a line, and they come up and they just take a sip out of a straw. Obviously pre COVID, I guess, but like one is like milk, one is hot sauce, and one is like whiskey. Yeah, and you just keep okay. no, see that that just no. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, we well, could see, look for another challenge to do. So when I worked for AMC, this is going to be really nasty. Oh. Um, we had little courtesy cups that were about this big. So, you know, if someone needed like a little cup of water or something, we could fill one of those up. Or if the employees wanted a drink, they were allowed to use that. Okay. So when I worked for AMC, we had uh, one guy that worked with us said, wouldn't it be awesome if I just took a little shot of every single liquid back here and chugged it all at once. And I was like, no. And he goes, why not? Well, barring anything that would cause harm, butter's liquid, jalapeno juice is liquid. 
the slushies are technically liquid. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to do it all. The so he went food. down the line with all the sodas, the water, the Slurpees, well, Icy's we had. Um, that was nasty. He did butter. He did the jalapeno juice. And there was something that was else. That sounds like PG. Oh, cheese. Nacho cheese. He put that in there. And That's... he went like this. And he That's... ran for the bathroom. Yeah. I never saw anyone run so quick. Yeah, that's that's nasty. That's nasty. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm-mm. So, yeah, if you guys know of any other challenges that we can do, um, we're willing to potentially give them a try. Or, or least, fun sports. Or at least entertain the idea. Um, but we do have an unboxing coming, more product reviews. Um, and that backfired, by the way. Because now, now we're even. I know. We went down. But we yeah. went down <laughs> They didn't. Uh, they didn't like your. It. They didn't like your AMC story. That's what it was. They're no, like, no, 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 no. Everyone loves AMC stories. Well, evidently it wasn't. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna try and maybe go out for a little bit tomorrow. We have a sign that we had to put out somewhere. Um, we might grab coffee while we're out. Um, and then Sunday is like, I don't know what it is. It's like National Recycling Day or something. I don't know. So we're gonna try and maybe like. Go out and do a little bit on Sunday, but oh, all yeah. weather pending, obviously. Yeah, weather pending because it's supposed to rain by us on Sunday. And so energy pending. Oh my god, because we are right now. Like I really, I really just want to go to bed right now. <clears throat> well, like I said, uh, I, I can in a little bit. We probably will. <laughs> yeah. Um, mind you, I'm probably gonna just lay in bed and watch. A movie I mean, I could probably. Well, I mean, the other night, I think what happened was I got in bed. And I fell asleep. Like, I slept from, like, midnight to 2 a.m. And then I woke nap. up, and I was, like, fucking up till 5 o'clock in the morning. That was... So you just got to make sure... But it was also hot. Stay awake. Our house was very humid, so it was very hot, and it was uncomfortable. <clears throat> so hopefully now that the temperature has dropped and we don't have the air on like we did two days ago, we actually have the heat on, um, hopefully that sort of helps. And it wasn't so. that we made a mistake. It was really that hot outside. We had to have the yeah, air on. Yeah, it was hot, and it was muggy. The humidity was like 98% outside. It was 80% in the house. It was just like where my elbows touched my body was like sticky. It was just so nasty. So trying to sleep when you're hot in Me, November. I hate being cold. I hate it. I'd rather be hot than cold, but it was way too hot for me. I yeah. had no blankets on. I'm sitting there with the fan on like, okay, this is ridiculous. Yeah. It's November. It is freaking November. Um, and it's I, not like we live in Florida or something. Yeah. No, we we live in a cold area. Like not as cold as Carlos. Where's that? Colorado. Oh yeah, that'd be yeah. pretty cold. Yeah. I um, also don't want to do a video more about my makeup and maybe my eyebrows. I'm gonna henna. I've got a Lego video coming soon. He has a Lego video that he wants to do. Um. Oh, we also want to do a uh, Christmas decorating video. Um, oh, no, I got to make it that, that a TikTok, too, because I saw a really good one today. Okay. You know, the... Uh, the, ta the Three, two, one. Oh, I oh, saw yeah. one, someone threw a uh, uh, ornament in, ah. and they closed the door, and when they opened it, it was all oh, that'd be cool. decorated. I yeah, thought that'd cool. be neat. We want to do, like, a time lapse of us decorating the house for Christmas, which is probably going to happen sooner than later. I'm just going to say this back here gonna look totally different yeah because it always does yeah i might get we have head a couple times so we actually also have stockings for all of our kids <clears throat> we have 10 kids no we do okay I, for a minute i'm like did we get one for jewel no we did we did yeah this is not jewel's first christmas no i know i know almost just, every year we we usually uh, add have, someone to the house yeah we actually we have didn't do kid. that this year it, it averaged out we almost like, did yeah we, almost, we tried. We tried we, to adopt a dog that got thrown off a second story balcony and was in a, wheel, in a wheelchair. It was a wheelchair dog. It was a wheelchair dog. Which and we, we thought it's perfect because our house is completely accessible because yeah. obviously Hello. we need it. Yeah. So and we thought that'd be awesome. the dog's name was the dog that we have now is her name. And so we just thought like, oh, that's cool. And we, what? I put in a, a, she put in an application. a request on like in September. And, and I'm like, okay, let me stalk this dog on Facebook and just see like what else I can find out about it. And they said, oh, well, yeah. we got rid of it four. What was it? Four weeks ago or four months ago? Um, February. February. So got adopted out in February, but it was still on Pet Finder. And I was so sad because 
me, when, when we see the animals, I'll admit I fall in love like that. Right. I'm very bad at it. But, but if we she looked at me an and she said, look. That we like, whether it's we like what they look like or we like the description that whoever it is wrote about it. Like, there's something that attracts us to an animal, and then it's like, okay, that's it. Like, Phoebe. But and here's the thing. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Phoebe, our black and white cat. Okay, so we fell in love with her because of her name. Okay, her name was, uh, oh my god, oh my god, Brie. Really? Brie. I want to say Rihanna. No, But Brie. yeah, Brie. But we knew so a Brie. We knew a Brie, so we tried to get Brie's mom to take in this cat, and it didn't work out. So I'm like, well, that means we have to take in the cat. So we take in this cat. Um, she came with friends. Um, that were surrounding her butthole. So that was fun because they didn't tell us this until um, we found them all over our couch and then we know whatever. And after we got her, not, not that it would have mind, uh, deterred, us. deterred us, but um, I go back and I, I'm like, they're like, hey, how's Bree doing? I'm like, oh, she's doing great. She's Phoebe now. Um, and the one really weird thing is when I go to pet her, she like bites at me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she does that. But you didn't tell Why us. Why didn't you tell us this? Yeah. Now, like I will say the one thing that I'm not a fan of, uh, we went back there a couple months ago, really, maybe four or five months. Well, no, it was before be COVID, so. Yeah. COVID's been going on since March. Wow. Yeah. Maybe it was almost a year ago we went there then. But we were talking to the girl, and she's like, oh, yeah, that cat, you know, it, it's really cute. It looks like a kitten, doesn't it? I'm like, yeah, well, it says it's only, you know. Well, I don't know if it was five months old or whatever, or five weeks old. And she goes, yeah, we just put that. It's actually over a year old. Say what? Yeah. So they put that their kittens so that they get adopted because cats don't get adopted as much. We're one of the people but, that like, we fall <clears throat> in love with it. I mean, but here's the thing. Me personally, I will fall in love with an animal like that. But the thing is, yeah, super shady. She'll she'll say to me like, "Hey Chuck, you know, uh, I I really like this animal." I'll be like, "For instance, never thought I'd have a reptile." Oh my gosh! She fell in love with Dud Dud, and I was like, "Yeah." And I'm Are we not gonna be able to do this. I'm not a reptile person, but we love him. He's awesome. You know, we both take care of him. Everything's great. Yep. Wouldn't change that. No. That being said, she always tries to give me the practical or practicality of it so when we were thinking about getting this dog in the wheelchair she goes chuck i really like it i really think it'd be a great dog plus our house is fully accessible but there's something you gotta think about i'm like okay what's that it wears a diaper i'm like oh yeah she goes if you get it on a schedule it wouldn't need a diaper, but because it's it's paralyzed, it can't feel when it has to go to the bathroom. So it'll just go to the bathroom. So I thought about that. And I'm like, I think I can live with that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to get into the specifics of it, but I had a job where I had to clean human feces. So that wasn't going to deter me. Yeah. So I made the decision. Yes, I can deal with that. She said, great. I'm going to put in the app. And then they told us, yeah, she was adopted, adopted in February. Yeah. So thanks for taking our This is like six it. months later. Yeah. It was September. I'm like, oh, thanks. Great. So, yeah. When it happens, it happens. We actually want to really try and get like a beagle mix. Just because we want to name it regarding Henry. Well, no. We, she wants to name it Henry after regarding Henry. I was like, well, regarding Henry. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we don't want an actual like full-blown <clears throat> beagle because I know that they howl and they're little, little, little bastards. And Jewel doesn't even really bark at nothing. Um, so I don't want to go from one extreme to the next. Yeah. Um, but but we, we were thinking like a mix, you know, yeah. if we can find something. Oh, lippy lip. Of course. Lippy lip, um, lippy lip should be around here. I think so. Um, ah, there he is. But yeah. So. But, but yeah, yeah, we, we, we really want to... We, we would love to have a uh, an animal with some sort of disability. We would love yeah. to have a wheelchair... Uh, dog that'd be kind of cool yeah yeah especially since we have everything set up to make its life a little easier but we'll what see you, what are you doing well move your arm one more time she loves me 
he moves on. He's like, oh, I got to get in the right place. Well, I do. Otherwise, it just feels weird. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Weirdo. You married me. True. You stalked me. That's not true. You stalked me. Mm -hmm. I have written proof on the wall. You stalked me. First of all, you can't use what I gave you against me. Why not? Because it was a gift from me. Okay. A gift for me to use against you. No. Oh. That's like me giving you a baseball bat and you hit me in the head with it. I know. Now. Christmas now. Just kidding. I want a bat and a mitt. Because that'd be realistic. Well, I had a friend. <laughs> so he used to carry a baseball bat with him because, you know, protection. He also carried a baseball mitt with him because if you get pulled over, <laughs> you can't say, well, yeah, I, I, I have that in case someone tries to come at me. No, I have that because I, I like to play baseball. I was playing mm. baseball early. <laughs> mm. What? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. So, let's see. So, today is Friday. Yep. We'll, we'll go live tomorrow. So, are we going to do the dinner thing? Live? No, I no. think I think what we'll do is we'll film that as a complete separate video all to okay. itself. Um, maybe we'll go live when we're eating though. Okay. So and I'm kind of contemplating. I don't know what I want to do yet. As long as the rolls are still good, because we got rolls. Oh we, yeah. yeah. We got our groceries. Uh, we might either do rolls that we can just dip into it, really like a garlicky bread sort of thing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Garlic okay. bread. Okay, so we'll so see. We should be going live. Actually, probably really about the same time we did tonight. Um, maybe a little bit closer to nine. It's nine thirty-seven now. Um, but we'll probably go live like around nine tomorrow night. Um, awesome and awesome, and we will. Actually, I might. Uh, maybe I'll just schedule it now, just so that people kind of have a heads up too. Okay. Um. But yeah. Oh, started cooking dinner. Having something good. Yeah, what you're making. Tell you, I don't know what it was, and I, I don't, I don't eat anything that resembles that. But so I really did watch the videos. Um, and one of my coworkers was trying to tell me like what it was. Oh, she said that we were sleeping. Oh yeah, I, yeah. We didn't realize that was tonight's dinner. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, that's, that's so there was me. like this. There was like this green, like seaweed paper stuff, and I'm <clears> like, that's that's gonna be a no. And then there was like this noodle stuff that had like this brown sauce. And I could have sworn when you used your chopsticks and you're getting the noodles that once you move the chopsticks, the brown noodle things were, were moving. It just blew my mind. So, so I'm glad that you're having grilled cheese and tomato soup. <laughs> <laughs> very, very happy. Um, but yeah, we're not very adventurous with our food. We eat very Although That's not basic and simple things, our but... dinner last night was kind of oh yeah, not, not adventurous, but it was it was pretty awesome. Um, on Facebook, there's a recipe. There's a recipe, yeah. There's a recipe for Olive Garden chicken pasta. So you take, um... hey Brittany, hello. So you take, um... you take chicken, chicken breast, chicken breast. You put it into a crock pot. Yes, and then you take. Uh, it said two cups, but she poured the whole bottle. So so did we. Um, but a bottle of the Italian dressing from, Olive, from Garden. Olive Garden, which you can buy at your food store. Uh, you pour that into your chicken. Then you're supposed to put Parmesan cheese on top. We didn't. We waited till it was done. No, I... no, not in the crock pot. You didn't. No, you didn't. I know you didn't. No, no. Oh, cream yeah. cheese. The cream cheese. And then you put the block cream of cream cheese on top. Uh, so... And then when it was done, we put the uh, the grated or shredded Parmesan cheese on right. top. And then and mixed everything together. You shred the chicken. Yeah. So it good. Was really good. So good. It I'm, was really good. I'm not very adventurous like that because I like my like my spaghetti, we'll call it, or pasta with red sauce. But this was this was, was amazing. Yeah, it was really good. And it actually tasted better tonight. So we made it last night. So we had it yesterday <clears throat> and we had it about, you know, a little bit more than an hour ago. It was yummy. So if you I guess you can maybe Google it. I'll try and maybe post the link to it in the description box. Very easy to make, done, but very, very simple. It was what? Chicken. So let's see. It was chicken, chicken cream cheese. Well, chicken breasts, cream cheese, and the Olive Garden uh, Italian dressing. And grated in a 
And then the shredded Parmesan cheese came So it was like five, so it was like five ingredients. And it's not great, it's shredded. Okay, whatever. So it was like five ingredients. So you really can't beat that. Um, so but that was good. That it was just great. cooked I mean, over well, it cooked while we slept. It wasn't overnight, it was through it was, the morning. It was during our evening. But, but uh, yeah, if anybody has any tips on how to survive an overnight shift, coffee. Um, I there's got to be something more than coffee, because soda or, or how to survive on your days off after working twelve hours, because this is this is some BS. It's rough. It is very some rough. BS, and I work in my living room, so it's not like oh well, maybe you should work so far away. But I, I, I can't get much closer unless it's, you work from the bed. I literally can roll out of bed, go to work, and then I literally roll back in bed, and I'm fucking beat. Um, and the days off, days off, I just feel like a zombie. It's like brains. Oh, but I have no brains for her to take. So how does um? Hey Chuck. Yeah, hon. How does the rock go pee? Do you know? Do you know? Do you I, know? Do I you know. know how the rock goes pee? I know. How does the rock go pee, Chuck? He joins his Johnson. Ah! Oh, boy. Yeah, that's awesome. That is probably the funniest joke I heard. Yeah, I went through like a whole... quite some time. I went through like a whole list of them on Facebook. It was <clears throat> great. It was great. Um... But yeah, I think, um, I don't know. You got anything else or are we, are we done? We well, does anyone have any questions for us? Yeah. Any questions before we uh, skedaddle and, um, I don't know, go pass out. Cause that's about where I'm at right now. Uh, going for Brittany here. Cause I know you guys used to play Pokemon go. I don't know if you still do. Um, they just recently released a thing. If you go through settings and you scroll all the way down, there's a thing so you can send your Pokemon to Pokemon home now. And then, from there, you can put them in your Switch game or whatever. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's exciting. It is if you're into Pokemon. Mm. Mm. Just figured I'd throw that out there. Mm. <laughs> mm. Good night. Good. Um, but yeah, any questions before we skedaddle? And um, we will schedule our live tomorrow. We'll do nine. I think nine. <sighs> I think 9 p.m. will be a good... Uh, I might be a bit in bed by 9. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, we'll we'll schedule it for 9. Yeah, at least we'll have coffee tomorrow. Thank yeah. goodness. Yes. yes. Coffee is because, awesome. Because the Ford Beautification Project cleans on Duncan. So, if you would like to donate to our Duncan uh, <laughs> fix, we try to save money on the days that we don't go pick up trash and stuff, which lately hasn't been really much. Um, we do make our own coffee at home, but the days that we go out and we pick up coffee or the days that we pick up trash, we try to pick up coffee. So if you'd like to donate to our coffee fix, um, Duncan eCards, uh, I can post but the email address I say we uh, in the description box. I say we just get Duncan to uh, become a sponsor. I know. Like I could like we're like we clean their property every time we go. Yeah, every so it's funny if you follow our page on Facebook, which is the same name it is on YouTube. Um, somebody actually snitched, snitched, snitched us out because they're like, we find that you know, um, your pictures always have a Dunkin' Donuts in the background, and it's like, well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> there's a reason. Like we go, we get coffee, and it's like we're in a parking lot, so we'll stop, we'll park, and we pick up trash. Um, still trying to figure out why there's no trash cans anywhere. There's no trash cans at McDonald's. Because of COVID. So you want people to just throw shit in the parking lot, and you wonder why there's masks everywhere. I'm sorry, sorry. In, in the parking lot? The mo parking lot. In the, the, uh, make in, sure in, you turn down the heat. In the parking lot, because that's where the dogs park. Yeah, but there's no trash cans anywhere, so where do you want people to throw their masks and stuff? I'm not saying you should throw them on the ground, but there's no trash cans anywhere. You go to Lowe's, you know what Lowe's has as a trash can? A five-gallon bucket. Well, if one person eats a Chick-fil-A and gets a whole little meal, whatever, and they put it in the Lowe's trash can, now the Lowe's trash can is full. Whatever. So, whatever. So, there's, yeah. So, we always start our days when we go pick up trash um, at a Dunkin', and there's usually trash and straw wrappers and cups, and... Oh, yeah. One day, what was it, like two weeks ago, we went to a Dunkin' Donuts, and you could literally tell that a car pulled into a spot, four doors 
opened on said car, people took their full Duncan cup, put it on the ground, and then they backed up and they left. How trifling can you be? Like, like seriously, like it is very obvious by the placement of those cups that the four people you had in your car all opened their car doors, put their full cups on the ground, and you backed out and you left. Well, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand <laughs> the masks. I don't understand. They're just, I don't understand. Yeah, there, anyway. We find so many masks all over the place. Yeah, masks everywhere. Gloves. Thing is, why cups. are there masks thrown? Anywhere's outside because you need them until you get home, basically. Yeah, you should anyway. Unless you're driving down the road and we, I don't need this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So we're trying to do what we can, but gonna end it for now. We will schedule our live tomorrow for nine, and um, we'll see y'all then. So. And we'll have some tasty food for tomorrow. Yes, which we can't tell you what it is, but there's gonna be bread involved. All right. Have a good night, y'all. And, uh, be safe. Toodles! Oh, yeah. Toodles. Good night. Good night.